Next on Jersey Matters, we'll talk to Assemblyman John Wisniewski, Chris Christie's arch enemy, who's now running for governor. And he says if he wins, he still wants to investigate Chris Christie. Growing crops a brand new way, and it's happening in Newark, New Jersey. And the controversy at the Red Bank Charter School. Those stories and a whole lot more because Jersey Matters. Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We continue our coverage of the New Jersey gubernatorial campaign by introducing you once again to Assemblyman John Wisniewski. He is a candidate for governor as a, a Democrat. Thank you, sir. Thanks for being here. Larry, good to be with you. You know, I interviewed you once before when you first announced, and we were down at a convention down in Atlantic City, and I didn't give you the opportunity that I've given every other candidate, and that's just to spend a minute to, to talk about yourself and why you're running and why people should vote for you. I'm running for governor because New Jersey needs a different kind of leadership. When we look at our track record in New Jersey over the last 12 years, we've done something twice over the last 12 years that hasn't worked. We've brought in a governor who argued during the campaign that they were an outsider, that they were best suited to come in and reform the way Trenton does business. And after 12 years of outsiders with both John Corzon and Chris Christie, I think the collective wisdom of the state is, is we're not better off. Uh, and that somebody with experience ought to be running for the job of governor. I've got 21 years of experience in the General Assembly, and that experience will be valuable in making sure New Jersey moves in the right direction, protecting the middle class after this next election. Uh, the recent Fairleigh Dickinson poll showed Phil Murphy at 17 percent, you at 6 percent. Now, for most people, they would go, oh, that's not very good, except for the fact that Phil Murphy has spent so much money and has only come out at 17 percent. So there is a silver lining in that, is there not? Well, the fact of the matter is the poll was done in January. The election's not until June. And what it did say was that over 60 percent of the people in the state of New Jersey have no idea who's running or what decision they'll make in this election. So it's a wide open field. And after spending all of that money and campaigning nonstop for two years, my principal opponent doesn't really have much headway. A lot's going on in the news. We had a Bergen County judge saying that, that the governor had to show up for a criminal complaint, but you have the Bergen County prosecutor now saying that he's not going to move forward with right. the prosecution no matter what. Is that prosecution dead? There doesn't seem to be any appetite either in the legislature or now in Bergen County to continue with the Bridgegate investigation against Governor Christie? Well, the decision made by the assistant prosecutor in Bergen County is not an unbiased decision. Remember that each prosecutor in New Jersey is appointed by the governor and the people under that prosecutor are essentially reporting to the governor. There's another problem. The Bridgegate investigation was stopped because of the federal tri criminal trial, and that was the smart thing to do. But now that that trial's over and people are about to be sentenced, that investigation ought to continue because there still are lots of unanswered questions about what the governor knew and when he knew it. There is a story uh, in Politicker, New Jersey, about you alleging a conflict of interest yeah. because you represented U.S. medals and they are, they are cleaning up uh, Carteret right now because of some, some pollution they caused. And so the two attacks against you was that it was a conflict of interest and also you have shown yourself to be a pro-environmentalist, and yet your record with U.S. medals uh, goes against that claim. Well, how do you respond? Well, it won't be the first time or the last time that Politicker and The Observer has gotten something wrong. They're pretty good at getting things wrong, so I expect them to continue with that. The fact of the matter, there is no conflict of interest. Uh, I have lots of private clients as an attorney because New Jersey has a part-time legislature, and there are lots of attorneys who have private clients. What this is, is politics inspired by the Murphy campaign to try to distract attention away from my opponent's lack of experience and lack of any concrete plans on how he would move New Jersey forward. Politicker responded to your response and asked <laughs> for an apology from you yeah. and said that it is certainly proven that U.S. Metals has to pay to clean up Carteret. And it's certainly been proven that you have represented U.S. Metals, so they don't know where the lie is. How do you respond to them? Well, if they got their story right in the first place, I'd be happy to have that conversation. The fact is, is that they did a story that did not involve a lot of facts. Uh, it included a lot of speculation. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time 
uh, analyzing why a politicker does what they do. But as I said earlier, it's not the first time they've gotten things wrong. It won't be the last. You used, and this will be the last question about this, you, you used that article for some f fundraising email and tied the article to the Trump administration and to Phil Murphy. Explain that connection. Well, I mean, it's something that I think Phil Murphy needs to explain. Doing business with Donald Trump, I think it really calls into question uh, the well, you progressive. Made, okay. Well, I mean, you made the allegation. Well, that's the why. allegations there, the records are there, the facts are there, and so I think that's something for Phil Murphy to explain about his business relationship with Donald Trump, and that's why we raised it. Let's talk about the budget that the, uh, the, the governor put out in going into his last year. You were extremely critical of the budget, especially when it comes to education. Do you want to explain that? Sure. Well, we're not funding education the way we should be. Uh, investing in our young men and women, the children who go from kindergarten to 12th grade, we have a school funding formula in New Jersey that has not been fully funded at all under this governor. That's got to change. If we're going to really make the middle class in New Jersey thrive, if we're going to be inviting for businesses to locate here, they need to know that we're willing to invest in our young men and women and fully fund our public education system. You are also critical of the governor going to have lunch with Donald Trump. Isn't it a good thing for the governor of the state to have a good relationship with the president of the United States? It's always a good thing for the governor of any state to have a good relationship with the president of the United States. It's not a good thing to have the governor of your state constantly auditioning for a different job while he still has one to do here and in New Jersey. And you know for a fact that's what that lunch was about? That was, uh, listen, uh, Chris Christie made it uh, very clear at the outset when he chose to endorse Donald Trump. Remember, he campaigned very hard against Donald Trump, said that Donald Trump was probably the least qualified person to run for president. And then as soon as he folded the tents in his campaign, he endorsed him. Uh, it was about looking for the next act in his political career. And now I repeat the first question, which I, I, is more relevant now. So your crusade against him is over? It's not a crusade against him. It's about getting to the truth. We can't have a system of government that allows a governor to dive into the Port Authority and use it for political retribution. Uh, it not only calls into question confidence in our government, but it's an abuse of power. If you were to become governor, would you instruct the attorney general to go after him and continue the investigation to that point? What I would do is I'd ask the Senate president and the Speaker of the Assembly to continue the legislative investigation. Let's see what they uncover first, and then let's take it from there. Great. Sir, we continue our conversation right after a short break. Sure. Assemblyman John Wisniewski, candidate for governor in the Democratic primary. Jersey Matters continues right after this.